G'day guys, welcome to my lab and to this our sixth lesson in our Wolfenstein 3D Godot 4 tutorial series. What we're going to be getting up to in this one is we're going to finish setting up all of our weapons. We're going to make a few changes so that we've got some really good logic to switch between them. So there'll be some animations we've got to do, there'll be some coding we've got to do. Um, yeah, so let's have a look at exactly what we're doing with our WWSS. So to recap, we should be able to wander around our space and also shoot with our gun, including animation. What we'll be doing in this lesson is adding the rest of our weapons and updating our script to accommodate that. Why? Well, to make it more exciting, the minigun in particular is the main reason we all love playing Wolfenstein. The skills you'll need, well, you'll need to be able to uh, understand and apply how to do your animations as well as to update our script. And success today, well, that's going to see you able to fire from various different guns at different rates of fire as well. All right, so I think probably the first thing we should do is have a quick play to remind us of what's happening. So let's jump into our game. So we've got our WASD keys. We can wander around and we can use our space bar to shoot. We should have 10 bullets and then we can stab. All right, excellent. So that's where we left off in our last lesson. What we are gonna get up today, get up to today, we need to add our animations for our machine gun and our mini gun. Um, and we also need to do a big overhaul of our UI script because we're gonna to have to handle all of these without writing a million lines of code. So I think the first thing we should do is update our animations. I don't think it's worth doing these on screen because we've done it several times already. So I'm just going to pause. I'm going to update mine and then I will join you again with those animations on the screen. All right, so I've got all those animations done in mine here. So just to go through them, I've got gun idle and then I've renamed the one that was just called shoot to gun underscore shoot and that'll, uh, it'll make sense later. Um, so there's that one, knife idle, we already had machine idle I added and I just used the second frame of the machine gun so it was a bit more pronounced. Machine shoot, I used the third and fourth frames of the machine gun and I sped that up to 12 frames a second and we'll have a look at that and see if it works the way I like. Idle mini, I used the second frame of that as well and and then, uh, sorry, mini idle, <laughs> second frame, and mini shoot. I used the third and fourth frames just like I did with the machine gun. Um, and we've still got stab, of course. So those are all set up. We'll can play with the speed of those animations later. Now what we need to do is have a look at our code. So let's jump into our script view by clicking script up the top. And yeah, we want our UI.gd. Um, so we can get rid of um, our frames down the bottom here as well so we can see the whole thing. So this is our entire UI script at the moment. And in it, you can see that we handle essentially our weapon animations and also the, um, the button push to make it fire. So we're gonna make some changes to this to accommodate those other weapons and we're gonna expand it out so rather than writing you know we've got knife knife idle gun gun idle we but we don't want to do that for all of them we're going to use something a little bit cleverer so we're learning something new okay so what we want to do we, we're going to keep extending canvas layer that's not going to change but we want to add a couple of new variables so the first one we want to do we want to have var time since last shot so this is just so we can sort of have some way of having um, cooldowns and things like that so time since last shot um, and then we're going to have another one var fire rate and that one can equal 1.0 to start with uh, and then what are we going to do we need to come down to our ready function because we want to set up now how we're going to handle um, some of the changing of these animations so we're talking about our animation finished there in our ready function we're going to keep that there but we're going to add another line um, where we're going to do the same animated sprite 2d so copy that um, dot play um, and what we want to play is global dot uh, current oops current weapon right so remember this uh, variable that we set up in our global script to track which weapon is which it was originally in our UI we moved it to our global so what we want to do is global dot current weapon plus um, our underscore idle so what we're doing here is checking out uh, the names of those um, animations that we just made so that's why I changed um, the gun which was just saying shoot to gun shoot because what we want to do is have a real consistent sort of list of names so then all we need to do is grab our variable plus the underscore idle bit or our variable plus the underscore shoot so i hope that makes sense so that's what we're doing here we're just checking to make sure our animation is finished and then we want to default to whatever weapon we're currently using idle okay so that's the uh, ready function next we want to get down to our process function so before we handle our inputs we want to um, work with those variables that we made up top time since last shot etc so time 
since last shot. So we want that to plus equal delta and delta is to do with the frame rate, all right? So that one's gonna plus equal delta. Um, and then we wanna create another one, var can shoot. Uh, and that is going to equal time since last shot, greater than or equal to 1.0 divided by our fire rate. So that's a bit of a lengthy bit of maths. And to be honest, I'm not the best at it. But what we're trying to do here is saying that um, the time since last shot is all associated with this fire rate. And we're going to get a little bit more into that uh, down a bit further. So that's uh, the first two lines of our function process. Now we need to um, scroll down a little bit further. And let's see, enter, enter. All right. And in here, we're going to handle when we've got um, empty ammunition to default back to the knife. So that's going to be, our, well, it's very similar to what we've got down here, but we're going to type it in from scratch just so we're thinking it through as we go. So we're going to have if global.current weapon does not equal knife and glow, oops, knife and global.ammo is less than or equal to zero, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set our global.current weapon, we wanna set that to knife, okay? So think about this logic, we're saying if the current weapon we've got is not the knife, but our ammo is zero or less than, we want to set our current weapon to be knife. So as soon as we discover, oh no, uh, I've run out of bullets, we just automatically change to the knife. You don't have to do that manually. Um, global weapon equals knife. And then we also need to um, make sure that we play the right animation. So we can grab our animated sprite 2D here again, and we're going to say dot play. And what are we going to play? We're going to play knife idle makes sense. So that little bit there is we're saying if we don't currently have our knife and but we don't have bullets, we'll switch it to our knife and play knife idle. So that should make sense. Now we come down a bit further. So if our um, input action just pressed um, is UI select, I want to change this. We're going to get rid of the just. If is action pressed UI select, but we're going to add something in here and can shoot. So our can shoot variable is set to true. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So if we're pressing the space bar and we're able to shoot, what are we going to do? Well, we want to have, uh, if our global current weapon equals knife, we want to play the animation stab. That makes sense. Else if, well, this is where we're going to start changing it a bit. So what I might do is remove some of this and then do it from scratch. That might be a bit easier. So I'm going to remove all the bottom part there. And we're going to come back up to our, just from here, just so I don't make any mistakes and end up with double bits or something like that. So we've got our stab. Now we come down a line and we want to say else. Now we want to grab our animated sprite 2D again. Else our animated sprite 2D dot play. And we're going to say, oops, global dot current weapon. So we keep referring back to this, don't we? Plus underscore shoot. So this is what I was talking about before. So we changed our the one that was just shoot to be gun underscore shoot. So this will work here. So what we're saying is we want to play the animation that is our global current weapon with the um, shoot word afterwards, basically. So as long as we've named all of our animations correctly, this will work fine. Okay, and now we need to just uh, have a think about our uh, time since last shot. And we want to set that to zero. So we've shot. Time since last shot is now zero. And we've got some more to do. Now, if our global dot current weapon da, 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 does not equal knife. Oops. If global dot oops ammo is greater than zero. Global dot ammo is taking one away. So what we're saying there is, hmm, yep, cool. So what we're saying here is if our current weapon isn't knife, so we've hit the space bar and our current weapon wasn't knife, then we want to take one of the ammos away because we would have spent one ammo, wouldn't we? Whereas if it was our knife, we're not spending ammo. I mean, it doesn't matter because you can't have your knife um, usable at the moment, but it's all good. So that is, 
it helps if you type correctly. Oh, all right, third time's a charm. Okay, so there's that bit there. Now we've got to keep coming down to handle some of our firing logic. So uh, global ammo. Now our next one, we're going to come back to here. Now we're going to say match global dot current. Oops, yep, weapon. And we want to have here gun. So that's our first one, isn't it? We say our uh, fire, oops, fire rate equals three. I'm, I mean, you can change these yourselves, right? This is just me having a bit of fun. Our next one is going to be the machine gun. And our fire rate, uh, we might make that equal to six. Uh, and then we're going to have our mini gun. Oops. And we're going to have a fire rate equal to uh, 10, whatever, change it. Um, and then we might just throw some other things in here just for safety's sake. So we've got our knife. How fast are we going to stab with our knife? I don't know, um, two. Um, and then we might just put in a just some sort of leftover gibberish. Um, just in case we're having errors and we'll just put that to one. All right, so da, 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 that's looking good. And now we just need to do that function um, on animation finish stuff that we had before. So we come back to our function. So function on, oops, animated sprite 2D animation finished. Then we want to have our animated sprite 2D dot play global dot current. You should be getting used to this now. Current weapon. Yep. Plus, oops, underscore idle. So let me just review all of that and see how we've gone. So back to the top. We'll talk through this and I'm sure this is very boring for those of you who are really good at code, but the whole point of this is to make sure we understand what we're doing. So you can always fast forward through if all you want to do is see the code. All right, so we're going to extend our canvas layer. We then have two new variables. One is um, for measuring how long it's been since we shot, and another one is for how fast we're going to shoot. We then want to uh, make sure that we check to see when our animations are finished before we change them. And then also we want to make sure that our default sort of animation to have ready is going to be whatever our global weapon is um, with the idle animation. Now, we want to start our time since last shot using this uh, adding to it via delta. We then want to set up a new variable called can shoot, which is measuring um, time since last shot. And if it is greater than or equal to one divided by our fire rate, which is down here. So the faster our fire rate, the faster we're going to shoot up here. If our global current weapon is not knife and we have less than zero ammo, then we want it or zero or less. then we want to change our weapon to be the knife and play the knife idle. Um, if we hit the space bar and we can shoot, so this variable is set to true, then we want to go, if global current weapon is knife, play the stab one, otherwise play whatever it is, shoot. Um, reset our time since last shot. And then we want to go, if our global weapon is not the knife and we've run out of ammo, uh, sorry, and we um, have ammo, take one ammo away, otherwise defer to the knife. And then we just have these for our um, fire rates and we're just matching what we've got here, global current weapon to these here. And then we just make sure that um, we play our idle one when we finish. So that's our script. I can make that smaller so it's all on the screen maybe. That might help some of you. Um, make sure you get that copy down. And remember as well that it's available um, in the GitHub um, or you can always reach out if you're having trouble with any of it. So that is that. Let's save it and let's see if this all works now, all right? So the way we're going to see if it works is go to our global and just change some of these variables. So instead of, let me make that bigger again so everyone can see what I'm doing. So instead of ammo of 10, let's give us 100. And instead of our current weapon being a gun, let's give us the mini gun. Let's save that and let's see if this works. All right, so straight away, we've got our minigun, we hit spacebar and we get our animation. We can still move around. Excellent. And if we run out of our ammunition, oh, I made it 100 now, but we should make sure that it still defaults back to the knife. So I'm just going to hold the spacebar down and 
There we go, and then it defaults to the knife. So that is all still working perfectly. Excellent. In our next one, I think what we'll do is our enemy. So let's have a look at our must main might so you don't miss anything. So uh, what you must get done today is get the rest of those animations in as well as update your UI script. You may like to find some other PNG textures to create some different looking rooms in your castle. And you might like to consider how you can get ammo during the game because those collectibles are where we're heading there. You should now be able to fire the different guns and at different rates. Next thing I think rather than doing our uh, ammo collectibles we maybe do our enemies next and then our collectibles after that. And the quote I'd like to leave you with this week is from George Bernard Shaw and he once said life isn't about finding yourself it's about creating yourself. Thanks very much guys and I'll see you next time.